All right, guys, this video is going to be partial update and partial so, or partial subscriber response. So, the subscriber asked me about my bar risers. I, what I have done to my bar risers is I have the blue power mat handguards, which I bought off Amazon. I can post a link to power mat handguards in the description below. I absolutely love them. This one's a little chewed up from my mutt because they go on the dirt bike in the summer. I put a braided brake line on it to extend out the brake line because the brake line was too short for because I have a two inch double pivot mount and a five and a half inch bar riser. So longer brake line. I put the power mad throttle extension, which I will also post a link to the description in. Fly racing bar pad, link to the description. All the parts will be posted in the link or in the description. I have got my five and a half inch double pivot bar riser. Here, I'll take the bar pad off for you guys. So double pivot bar riser so I can rotate my bars, you know, I can rotate them this way and then I can lean the whole things forward or backward. I had to take right here, take the wires, cut them, add a little bit in. I picked this crap up at the hardware store in town. Um, oh, and then I ended up having when I did it, I found the steering column, and these are hollow, and I didn't want to risk bending it, putting all this leverage in. So I, while I had the double pivot off and everything off, I pounded a bar, half-inch steel rod is what it is, that fits. The steering column is tw or 30 inches deep, but I only pounded 20 because that'll hit this brace and the brace down here, which you can't really see because the lighting sucks because it's nighttime. Um... As far as everything goes, my double pivot mount, I made up. I didn't want to buy one because they're about 55 bucks for a little pivot. Just take an old chunk of handlebar. Pretty basic. Give you a few shots on it. So if you want to make one yourself, you know, you don't got to angle it or anything. Just shoot it straight up and, or straight back and then put your weld your bar on. It's not really hard. So on with the update here at headquarters. We just managed to, with mine, we ripped this chunk out of it. So that sucks. I'm going in and going to weld that up tomorrow at the shop. Grandpa bought an 01 Edge 500, special edition too. You know, nice little machine. Seat was a little waterlogged and I had to add some reinforcement brackets here because the back, or snow flap was a little stiff. Deer, as always. Mini chopper, gotta put a rear axle in it, redo the chain of sprockets, um, new bearings, etc. Brakes. 700, just got it put back together. We had everything off, dumped like 600 bucks into this. The Rockstar Energy race bike, looking good as always. Just got, went out for the last ride on Monday. Today is Thursday. It has got 14.3 hours on the top end, and that is an RM piston in there. So we're going to rebuild it this winter, even though it still runs great. A couple skids. You know, got some lighting put up in the shop. Better lighting for filming. Found the Confederate flag and the Yamaha flag. So, well, if you have any more questions about that in the, about my big bar risers on the sled, just post a comment in the comments and I'll respond pretty much almost immediately so let me know what's going on if you get them put on send me a picture post a picture I'll post my email in the link or in the description below along with a parts list on everything the only thing I'm not going to put in the parts list is the half inch steel bar you can pick that up at Napa um and then I had uh, there's a bushing right there where that hose clamp is you can tell it's not there right now actually it's a little brass bushing i actually just put a hose clamp up there and then bent it around so it didn't scrape like it was previously here just bent it around and that hose clamp was holding the bushing so it didn't slide up because of all the force going onto this bar other than that about it all right thanks as always like comment and subscribe